Hello, my soccer universe. Let's do this rather quick because I want to go to bed. Um, only really watched two games today, and I didn't watch the most important one, which is Lask's win over Wolfsberg, which basically secures Lask the best position in history, except for the championship season in 1965. Hence, I'm wearing the Lask jersey. Theoretically, it's not fixed yet. However, Goal differential is the tiebreaker, and it's so far superior that you cannot uh, say anything else. Lask will finish second this season, and also Salzburg is champion. Whatever, they uh, keep winning, 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 winning that uh, champ championship. And I think if Lask wouldn't have had this horror spell uh, now in April, uh, it, it might have been a tight race. I still thought that Salzburg will win it. It would not. Have. I keep repeating myself, I would have loved it if, if uh, Lars can pull that off. Uh, but thanks to the new mode, it would not have been deserved. So let's go that. That means Champions League qualification for Lask, which is a first. Um, and if Chelsea wins the Europa League, or Frankfurt wins the Europa League and qualifies for the Champions League, uh, via the league, which today Frankfurt took a big 6-1 beating, so uh, Leverkusen is now who they played, are now level with them and doesn't look good. Same thing goes for Valencia, who are now 3 points behind Getafe, still to go. So the safest bet is Chelsea. If Chelsea, who secured today the Champions League thanks to a 3-0 win, wins the Europa League, then Lask actually has at least the Europa League group stage secured for next season because we start in a later round. So that would be a great thing to have too. Um, it's a little bit that the third place team is automatic if the same thing happened. Uh, yeah, uh, the third place team is already in the Europa League group stage, whereas the second place team might not even make it there. That's I find a little bit unfair, but on the other side, you know, you play Champions League qualification. Uh, it's a higher level of competition, so maybe somewhat, somewhat dish. All right. But I didn't see any of these games that I've just talked. I saw some highlights. Um, what I watched was today all Italy, and the big game in Italy is um, was Lazio Atalanta, and. I didn't look much on the table. I told you, I've, for me, Milan is done and dusted in a way in that sense. However, if I look at the final four games, they seem all uh, winnable. There is a 10, 12 points are in there. And then I was thinking, well, um, who do I support? Lazio, Atalanta, I was saying, well, slight Lazio. But uh, with the caveat, a uh, draw would probably be the best. Lazio took an early lead through Parolo, um, and at that point I showed the table and said, well, I think I can live with the Lazio win uh, quite nicely. And I have thought that at that moment Zapata makes it 1-1 in the 22nd. Ilicic then missed a huge chance to make it 2-1, and at that point Atalanta had uh, fair control. I mean, Lazio had a chance to make it 2-0, I think, but that, that was basically where the game turned in the 22nd. Uh, second half, this first half was still played on the sound, kind of sounds like second half, the clouds brewed over Rome, which had an empty stadium, and I was actually disappointed already the Turin Derby, which was more or less empty um, Friday night, and now this was empty, uh, I don't know, I think it's really that there's not much to play for anymore, and in, in Rome, people are really disappointed. Horrible mistake by Wallace, who wants to clear. Plays it right into uh, Gomez, who runs, find, doesn't, decides not to shoot, uh, puts it and finds Castagna, who makes it 2 1. And a few minutes later, uh, almost 20, 20, 20, minutes, 20 minutes later, Wallace, with an own goal, makes it 3 1. And he was whistled and cheered by the crowd. And this is one of those things. Um, what do you do as a coach? Uh, the fans turned on one particular player in this case, and it was not a pretty scene. Atalanta looks really good making it in, in, the, in the Champions League, made even better by the fact what Roma played against Genoa. Genoa actually had the better of the first half and should have taken the lead right at halftime. I mean, 
the guy was just there at the post, just needs to put it in and manages to take it somehow out. Um, so uh, nil nil, and then the game kind of slowed down, and I thought they yeah, are just going to a safe nil nil. Well, draw, and I can't believe I'm still thinking it's good for Milan because we can get past Roma. We have the tiebreaker over Roma, and I'm saying we, although, yeah. We is also Lusk. I have two teams and I stand by that, that I support two teams uh, pretty much equally. One I can see, the other one I've never watched a competitive game except for a Champions League final in 1995. But hey, that's my weird soccer universe. Anyway, let's go further. Um, El Sharavi then gives Roma the lead, I think in the 81st, 82nd, let's see quickly. 82nd minute uh, was a nicely taken shot. Uh, okay, Roma takes a 1 0 lead. And you know, I Roma is my second favorite team in Italy, so I am in favor of them. I, I want, if Milan doesn't make it, it should be Roma uh, that makes the Champions League spot. I fear it will be Atalanta. Nothing against Atalanta, but uh, I'm not. I think their colors don't make them. Uh, make me give them much sympathies, <laughs> but I honestly have to say they play. If you watch them, they are a fun team to watch. So um, really, and it, it, it's a great story that as much as a small team would make it into the Champions League. Not as much as Getafe, but you know, still it's a pretty big uh, deal that they would make it. But Roma one nil ahead, and yeah, they could p uh, keep pace with Atalanta, and then the game got crazy because um, Genoa manages to equalize in the 91st minute through Romero, nice header after I think it was a free kick, um, and Genoa actually went for it and got a penalty in the 94th minute, last minute, and they miss it, Romero again. Um, and Genoa needed that win as much as Roma uh, for the simple reason that um, Empoli won against Fior Fiorentina and is now only a few points, I think two points adrift from Udine and Genoa. So Genoa could uh, fall into there. Yeah, Empoli 32, Udine 34, Genoa 36. Frozenone is, by the way, down. Now, so yeah, heartbreak in a way, but the way how it went. I think it was a deserved draw. Um, Genoa had a bit more of the first half than Roma. Roma controlled the game a little bit more. And yeah, Roma is falling off. Milan has a game tomorrow against Bologna. Chelsea made it in the Champions League with a win today. Um, Arsenal and Manchester United threw away their chances more or less to make it in the Champions League. United for sure out. Arsenal also played only 1-1 at home to Brighton. Um, they can draw level with Spurs but Spurs has the eight, has eight more goals in the goal differential. So unless it's the super go, uh, super St. Totteringham stay, it's not gonna happen. And we have uh, when Spurs plays Everton at home, and yeah, I think they will get the one point that they will need. So yeah, uh, it's all decided except for a title. And tomorrow is also a big game. Or when you watch it today, same thing. I. No, I will start with Milan Bologna, but I will switch over to City um, against Leicester. I think that's the more interesting game. Uh, but let's see how it goes. Well, I think I told you everything that was there today. Lille is playing, uh, uh, Lyon is playing at home to Lille now. Uh, I, the game is still going. It's a 1 0 for Lyon at the moment at the halftime. I uh, will tell you more about it in my big roundup video for the weekend where I'm, yeah, I probably have to make it before the Monday night games, but let's see how it goes. Anyway, let me tell you, let me know, which, let me tell you, let me know which games you watched. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. Gonna take a nap and yeah, we have a big soccer week ahead of us. Four long nights coming, so I better take a good rest. Take care, talk to you soon. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel 
all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.